Well, it's a difficult thing for the media to do historically because you're open to libel lawsuits. So in the past, even if you're aware of allegations, for instance, with Harvey Weinstein, you couldn't write them. Uh, at least a year ago, this publication was very close to persuading one of the actresses who came out about Harvey Weinstein to talk to us, but we couldn't. And even then, there was a lot of talk about, can we do this legally without proof? Can we just print one person saying somebody else did something? After that, there was such an avalanche of allegations that it's almost as if it swept the media world's old fears of libel lawsuits away. And now people are writing regardless. I mean, it's extraordinary. Things that we would have been terrified to write because we knew there would be a libel lawsuit and that if we didn't have the proof, we would lose that libel lawsuit. Now we're writing regardless. I had a phone call from a producer who was terrified because a reporter was going to write that he had said to somebody, hey, do you want to come to Cuba and chase hookers with me? Now, that is tacky. It's vulgar. It's quite possible that doing that is against the law. But it was one person claiming something about somebody else. Six months or a year ago, it would have been impossible to write that because you knew the consequences. And today, those walls have come down. And what the media is prepared to do has shifted. And it's going to be very interesting to see if that shift affects society beyond just Hollywood.